An update today on the murder case of four University of Idaho students. The suspect's attorney filed an objection to a motion to change the judge's non-dissemination order, otherwise known as a gag order. This all comes after the attorney for one of the victim's family is now arguing that he should be exempt from that order. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley is live here in the studio tonight with the latest. Right now, the gag order applies to law enforcement, investigators, and attorneys working on this murder case, along with attorneys who represent the victim's families. Now, the attorney representing the Gonzalez family argues he should be exempt from this order. Today, newly filed court documents show Lata County prosecutors and the murder suspect's defense attorney both disagree. Newly filed court documents show Lataw County prosecutors and Brian Koberger's defense attorneys together are fighting to ensure a fair trial. They believe opinions about the case made by the Gonzalez family's attorney could jeopardize that. My name is Shannon Gray. I'm the attorney for the Gonzalez family. Uh, we're not going to be taking any questions at all. Um, it's obviously an emotional time for the family, seeing the defendant for the first time. This is one of the last times we heard from Shannon Gray before the judge included him in the gag order. Gray argues he should be allowed to serve as the family's spokesperson. But Koberger's defense attorneys argue Gray is not entitled to the same freedom of speech as the family, who are currently exempt from the gag order. And because they're exempt, they say the family can share their opinions themselves. Now, prosecutors cited other cases where courts took extensive measures to protect the right to a fair and impartial trial. They include restrictions on some speech by attorneys. Gray argues the Gonsalves family are not parties to this case. But that could change. Prosecutors now say members of the family are potential witnesses at trial or sentencing, which could mean they would no longer be exempt from the gag order. The Gonsalves family's attorney, Shannon Gray, requested a hearing to clarify this issue with the gag order. At this time, a hearing has not yet been scheduled. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News. All right, Amanda, thank you very much. And in our effort to bring you more to every story, we, along with 21 other media organizations, are pushing back for more transparency in the University of Idaho murder case. We are asking a judge to narrow the scope of the gag order in this case. We believe you have a right to hear from police and other officials. Now, to be clear, Krem2 has no interest in releasing information that could jeopardize the case. But right now, the gag order prevents questions about campus security or student safety from even being answered. So we will keep following this and make sure to bring you updates.